everyone, my name is Jenna, but you guys can call me Jen, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to, I don't know what I'm gonna call this exactly, but it's, it's a discussion about what series I started this year, and how many I completed, how many I am never going to complete, and so on and so forth. So, this year, I, I started way too many, way too many series. I like copied them all down in my bullet journal. This is, get ready for it, it's page one. If it's gonna let me turn it, <laughs> it's page two. I did the math and this year in 2021, as so far, today is currently December 13th that I'm filming this, I have read in 57 different series. 57. I started brand new, read the first book in the series, 49 of them. 49 different series this year. And out of all those, I don't wanna continue nine of them. And I finished only five. And there were about 21 sequels that I did read this year that weren't the first of the books as well. So like I read the first book and then continued on to the sequel or just read the sequel in, in its own. And there were also out of all those 57, 16 of those have only one book out. So they were debuts of this year or they're brand new series that are starting this year. So I didn't have the opportunity to read anymore. I will clarify that this does not include companion series like the Brown Sisters or Hall of Smoke, for example. This only, this includes duologies, trilogies, and series that are continuous in, like they are meant to be series, if that makes any sense. So <laughs> we're just gonna dive in. All right, so in January, I read in four different series. I read the first book in the Invisible Library series by Jean Genevieve Cogman. I read The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. I read The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin and The Reaper Man by Terry Pratchett. So Terry Pratchett's was a sequel and one that I don't think I'm gonna continue. I didn't really love his writing style, so I don't really think I'm gonna ever continue in that book series. If I do, it won't be like a continuous, like from start to end <laughs> reading them, you know, cause the disc world is massive and I don't think I will ever really focus enough on those books to get through them. And The City We Became is the only book out in its series. In February, I read in six different series and out of those six, all of them were the first books in those series, and I don't think I'm gonna continue in three of them. The three that I'm not gonna continue with, potentially, poten one of them is a potential, maybe continue, I will talk about it. So the first one is Binti by Niedi Okorofor. I don't really wanna continue that one. And then I have The Collapsing Empire by John Scalzi. I don't wanna continue his series either. And the third one, which is the maybe, is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. You guys know, if you saw my reading out of my comfort zone, the first one was sci-fi, I really didn't love the Way that Red Rising was. <laughs> I am intrigued by it in a very gentle way. Like if I ever find that book at the thrift store, the second one, I will probably pick it up. Who knows if I'll end up reading it. I was angered enough by the choices done in the first book and I don't understand why everybody loves Darrow that I'm just, I'm not going out of my way to keep going with this series. The other three that I started and do plan on continuing in are Bonds of Brass by Emily Skretsky, The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, which is the first of the Wayfair series which I did complete this year. I read all of Becky Chambers' books that are out. I finished the Wayfarer series, so I read all four sequels that were in that. Oh shoot, I just realized those are companion novels. Well, I broke my rule, but <laughs> I am terrible. So I guess that would mean I read in 59 series this year, including Hall of Smoke and the Brown Sisters trilogy. I finished six series then. Okay, so my rule from before is, oh, I'm sorry, it was ruined with the Wayfarers. I didn't even notice. And then the last series that I started reading in February was Vicious by V.E. Schwab, which I do eventually plan on reading Vengeful just because I feel like I should. I feel like I should. In March, I read three series. I started three different ones and I am not planning on continuing in one of them. So I started The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang, These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong, which I am not continuing with, and then The Hat Makers by Tamsin Merchant, which is a little middle grade series that the, the book was just released this year. So there is no more released in that series yet. In April, I read seven different series. I read The Kings of the Wilds by Nicholas Eames, Murderbot, the first one which was 
All Systems Red by Martha Wells. I started the Wayward Children's or the Every Heart a Doorway series by Shauna McGuire. Here There Be Dragons by James A. Owen. Sleeping Giants by Stephen Van Nouvelle, which I am not going to continue in. And Son of a Trickster by Eden Robinson, which I'm not going to continue in. And then finally, The Kane Chronicles by Rick Riordan, which I do plan on continuing and finishing eventually. In May, I started five. <laughs> I started The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna, which I don't plan on continuing in. I just don't feel intrigued enough to go get out the second when it is released because it is currently not released. Then I read Library of the Dead by T.L. Huchu. This one again was just released this year. So whenever this trilogy comes out, I will be continuing it because I found it very interesting and I loved the narrative voice of the story. It was very good. Then I read The Emerald Atlas by John Stevens. This was the first in a trilogy, a middle grade trilogy that I'm very excited to continue with. And then I also started The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Rizapo, which I did didn't mark as a no as for continuing, but I'm not going to go out of my way to continue. But I wouldn't say no. If I came across the second or third book, I wouldn't say no to continuing because I loved The Shadow of the Wind. In June, <laughs> I started or I read in another seven series, but this one was better because out of those seven, three I did finish. Well, three, and a, two and a half I did finish. I'll explain in a second. Another three of them were purely sequels. Like I didn't read the first book this year and there were two rereads as well. So I read brand new. I read The Chronicles of the Bitch Queen by K.S. Veloso, which I'm hoping to finish this year with the third book in the trilogy. That's the Wolf of Orin Yarrow trilogy that you guys have probably heard me talk about forever. I also started reading the graphic novel series for Vox Machina. I continued with C.S. Lewis's series with his Chronicles of Narnia. I think that's what it's called with Prince Caspian. And I read Anne of Avonlea, which is the second Anne of Green Gables book. And then I reread Percy Jackson and the Olympians and the Heroes of Olympus. I didn't quite finish them all in June. I just lumped them in here because this is when I like focused on it. And then the one that is the half finished, I read Bitter Blue by Kristen Cashore, which was originally the end of the companion trilogy. Again, with these freaking companion books. I broke my rule. I'm very sorry, guys. The companion trilogy was done until this year when Kristen Cashore released a fourth one. So <laughs> I'm not technically done that one. But I'm very close. So in July, I, I read in another five series. I read Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim, which is again, one that I surprisingly am intrigued enough to keep going with. Sabriel by Garth Nix, which I do plan on reading more in because I was intrigued by the world and I do own the books. I also read Chilling Effect by Valerie Valdez and I do plan on reading the other ones in this series as they are released. And the second one is out already. I just love the world and how crazy it is. So definitely gonna go back to that one. And I also started an Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green, which I loved, surprisingly loved. And I do hope to do the, to read the second book at some point. And I finished The Trials of Apollo this month by Rick Riordan. In August, I read in eight series. Five of them were series that only have one book out in them. And there is one that is a maybe we'll be continuing with, not entirely sure. So those five are Realm Breaker by Victoria Aveyard, The Accidental Apprentice by Amanda Foodie, Pride and Premeditation by Tears of Price, Gear Breakers by Zoe Hanamakuda, and She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. The one that I'm not sure about continuing in is Gear Breakers by Zoe Hanamakuda because it was just okay YA sci-fi fantasy. The other ones that I read were Spirit Hunters by Ellen O, oh, A Sky Beyond the Storm, which was the fourth and final book in the Ember and the Ashes Quartet, and Jade City by Fonda Lee. September, I read in six series. I read in Ice Planet Barbarians by Ruby Dixon, which I will not be continuing with. I read The Jasmine Throne by Tasha Sudi, which I will definitely be continuing with, and that is the only book that was released at the time, or this year that is released in this series. I'm very excited for next year when the second one is released. And then we have The Wheel of Time, which I have read two and a half of as of this moment. I read Tristan Strong by Kwame Mbalia, which I do plan on continuing because it was very, very good. I read Psalm for the Wild Bills by Becky Chambers, which is my favorite book of the year. 
and I will be continuing in that novella series as Becky Chambers releases them. Freshly, it's the only one released in that series right now. And then I also read The Unbroken by C.L. Clark, which I didn't mark as I'm not going to continue, but I feel like I'm not going to continue with that series because I re just really didn't like the first book very much. So in October, I only started two different series because that's just my vibe. I started City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty and Finley Donovan is Killing It by El Casimano. I will be continuing on both of those. And as Finley Donovan was a brand new release of this year, I cannot wait for the second one when that comes out. And then in November, I read in four different series. I read Jade Fire Gold by C.L. Tan, which I believe is a series. I didn't actually fact check myself, but it is. There's only one book released in it as so far. I read City of the Plague God by Sarwat Chada, which I do intend on continuing eventually. And Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir, which I am so excited to continue. And The Rise of Kyoshi by F.C. Yi, which I also am so hyped to continue as well. So, and in December, as of right now, I have not read any brand new series. I have only continued books and series and done standalones. So hopefully there are no more to add to that uh, number. I will correct myself from the beginning. It is not 57 series started. It is 59 series started, including those companion novels. And then it is instead of five finished, it is six finished. <laughs> which is just wild. There are 17 on this list now that have only one book out as so far. And that would mean I have started out of those 59 that I have read this year, I have started 50 of them fresh brand new of this year. Hello friends, editing Jenna from the future with a sneaky peek at my new bookshelves, which you guys are gonna see in a future video very, very soon. But I wanted to pop in and clarify a few things regarding this lovely video because I went back through my list and updated some numbers of book series that I don't wanna continue and and things that I've finished and, and what have you. So, as I said in this video, I have 59 series that I read in this year. The ones with only one book out are 17. There are 17 of them with only one book out. I started brand new series, 50, and I won't continue eight of them. I believe I said less, I, th I believe I said nine in this video, but I have 12 others that are maybe continues, which I don't really discuss in this video, but upon contemplation of all these lovely series that I have started, there are just a bunch of ones that I'm like, I'm not gonna prioritize these, but they're maybes. If I ever come across the books and get the urge to read them, they are maybes. So 12 of those, I think that's it. I just wanted to clarify that. So there are eight series that I read this year that I won't continue in, and there are 12 that I might not continue in. So <laughs> why am I doing this video, you may ask. I am doing it simply because I want to show myself how bad I am at continuing with series. So now that I have this master list in my bullet journal, this two page master list of series that I have started this year and only a variety of them have finished, I know now going into 2022 that I want to go into the year with the goal of finishing more of the series that I've started. So out of the ones that I can't do that with, i.e. the ones that don't have all the books out yet, I do want to continue in them as they come out to keep abreast of those stories. But the ones that are out, I need to d devote the time to getting the sequels and reading them. <laughs> I just get so excited about new story ideas that sometimes that I just, I don't focus on anything other than the first book of the series, which is why I have this big page with just blue everywhere because blue was my notation for first of the series, which you can tell was the majority of what I have on this list, so. Well, yes, my friends, let me know down below if you have read any of these series and if you could recommend me focusing on them first, if I should prioritize them, any that I mentioned. But uh, thank you so much for watching. This is, oh, I totally forgot to say it's the beginning. This is day one of my 10 days of Christmas videos. So make sure to subscribe and like this video and turn that little bell icon on so you know when I upload because I have a lot of videos coming your way in the next few weeks. So make sure you stick around for that. But I will catch you in another video very, very soon. Stay kind and keep on reading.